Man, I don't trust Chris Paul at all, fellas. And it's not that it's the Chris Paul I ch don't trust, but it's his ailing body that I don't trust. The mind is willing, Broussard. <laughs> but the flesh, the flesh is weak. Weak. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't. Preach. The mind for Chris Paul, we all know is willing, y'all. But the flesh, 41 points, closeout game against the Clippers. The flesh, 32 points, game one against the Bucks. The flesh, 23 points, game two against the Bucks. The flesh, 19 points, game three against the Bucks. The flesh, 10 points, Chill. game four against the Bucks. Chill. Chris Paul's mind is willing. But his flesh is weak. So I can't trust it because I think we have seen the best days of Chris Paul in this playoffs behind us. He's deteriorating statistically. I don't think mentally. Mentally, he's all the way there. Mentally, he's sharp. But <clears throat> physically, the ball, leaving his hands, his body, collapsing on the floor, turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. 15 turnovers <laughs> over a three-game stretch. We haven't seen that in his playoff run ever. We haven't seen that in the regular season run from him for three years. Chris Paul, the great point guard. Chris Paul, top five player of all, point guard of all time, to be debated later. But Chris Paul, mm. his flesh, y'all, <clears throat> is weak. So I trust the mind of Chris Paul. But when you ask me how much do I trust Chris Paul in totality heading into game five, can't do it, won't do it, can't win with it. <laughs> Acho, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry that you bought into this. Look, w weren't we just hearing this a few weeks ago? Yes. Oh, they're 2-0 and against the Clippers without Chris Paul, who's in COVID. Leave him on the bench. They lost the first two games. Chris came in campaign speed. His aggressiveness at the rim was really giving <laughs> the Clippers problems. They're better without Chris and better with Cam. We heard all that. And then you just highlighted the 41-point game by Chris Paul to silence all the naysayers. Chris Paul is not done. He is not old. I have faith in him. Acho, he was horrible in game four. I will give you that. But if do you know what his stats are for this series? <clears throat> 21 points, 8.3 assists a game on 52% shooting. I mean, that's bowling. Mm. He had one horrible game. I get it, the turnovers. Games two and three, he still had a lot of turnovers. But he was giving you 23 and eight, I think, in game two, 19 and nine in game three. He still was playing fairly well. So he will have a bounce back game. There's all this talk about Drew. Drew Holiday has shut Chris Paul down. Drew Holiday has figured out the point God. Uh, I beg to differ because against Drew Holiday, Chris Paul is shooting 78%. I didn't stutter. 14 for 18 field goals against Drew Holiday. He has nine assists in the 22 minutes Drew Holiday has guarded him. Here's the issue. He has turned the ball over seven times in those 22 minutes. That's the same amount as the 99 minutes that all the other players have guarded him. So I get you with that. But Chris Paul is one of the smartest, most sure-handed point guards we've ever seen. So I do believe in Chris, and I think he's going to go out of his way to make sure he is not tossing the ball all over the place. He has a big bounce-back game, 22 points, eight or nine dimes <laughs> in a W. Eight or nine. Here's the thing, CB. 96, huh? Nine it's, dimes, uh, baby. <laughs> it's easy to bounce back from 10 points, big dog, so I would hope he can have some sort of a bounce-back game, but that's not much of a bounce-back no, because the stat line you just gave me would be his third best out of five games so far if he has 22 and eight or nine, just F-Y-I. But, Broussard, I think what you're overlooking, because you're looking at everything right, but what you're overlooking is the fact that CP has played his third most games thus far of his career, Broussard, mm. in this season. 16-year career, illustrious career. He played his first <clears throat> most games in a season. That was 94 <clears throat> games. He played, I believe it was, in 2016. He got hurt in that playoff run. A hamstring. If you're a Clippers fan, you will remember that. He played his first most games in the 2007 and 8 season. That's 92 games. That was his second most game against the Hornets. He was 23 years of age at the time. Broussard is a 36-year-old man, which Chris Paul is, playing 88 games thus far, the third most he's ever played. It's only common sense that his body's wearing down. 
it's not as though this is an outlier. This is now the norm. He's playing so much that the fatigue is setting in. So if oh, this was God. an outlier and we just saw one bad game, yeah, I'd be like, oh, okay, bet. But we are seeing a five-game sample size, a five-game trajectory, and I guess it's not a trajectory. What's the, antith the uh, antonym for trajectory because he's going lower? A five-game decline. This isn't an outlier. This is a norm, fellas. Man, I thought Acho was a rider. You ain't no rider, homie. You couldn't hang with me, big dog, Go in ahead, the real yeah. world. You, because you ain't no rider. <laughs> and you don't want to ride the roller coaster of what Chris Paul He's is out there. Yeah, you a hater. What's the opposite of hater? Acho is the same as a hater. So I'm going to talk about Mr. Emmanuel Hurt Pro. I mean, Acho. <laughs> who wants to go out there and talk about Chris Paul <laughs> after one bad performance in these finals. Let me remind you, he was averaging 25 points per game in the finals coming into game four. Let me just remind you that it's plus minus in the postseason. It's plus 88 in Phoenix and minus 12 on the road. Guess what? They're playing game five in Phoenix. You better trust this dude. But let me tell you why Acho's not a rider. Because he doesn't respect the resume, the equity of Chris Paul. It always ends in greatness, kind of like the stock market. It goes up, it goes down. It goes up, goes down, but it continues to rise. That's who Chris Paul's been this postseason. Must I remind you in the Lakers series, Chris Paul wasn't Chris Paul. He was pretty bad. You remember that, Acho? Nah, keep your face up there. Nine points per game, only seven assists. <laughs> Shooting 39% from the field. Yuck. 20% from the three-point line. Acho came out here hot taking. Oh, where Chris Paul at against my Lakers? I love me LeBron. Where Chris Paul at? Did he rebound? Yes, he did. Ask Denver. 26 points a game, 10 assists. Oh, so then Acho, he, he quiet again. Laker fan, he, he quiet in and Cancun because the Lakers are gone. And then the Clippers series, game one and game two, without Chris Paul, they look amazing, the Phoenix Suns. He comes back games three and games four, 16 points a game, nine assists. Ugh, here go hot take Acho. Hey, Chris Paul, he ain't no good. And what happened in game five and game six? <laughs> Don't make me cry up here. 32 points a game, eight assists, and you know shooting 56 from the field, 50% from three. Now we're back in this same position again. Acho, so, are you a rider or not? You going to ride these waves with Chris Paul to greatness, or are you going to hot take your way to failure? So Come on, your, your revisionist history is astute. It is like, great. The, the way that he has rewritten the history. Here's the thing, Sal. Here's what? the thing, CB. I never said that Chris Paul, the Suns, were better off without him, unlike you last series. That was not my take. Broussard, I haven't said this series, that the Suns should bench Chris Paul uh, in exchange for campaign. That is not my take. My take is very simple. Chris Paul statistically is declining, and this is not a one-game sample size. Sal, you declining. said that Chris uh, Broussard, you said that Chris Paul has had one bad game. Y'all both have agreed upon that. Bad is relative. Good is relative yep. in life and in sports. <clears throat> so for somebody to have 23 points and six turnovers, it might be a great night. Be a phenomenal night for me. Be the best night of my life if I were to do that in the NBA. Yeah. But for Chris Paul, it's a bad night. Six turnovers, can't do it. Chris Paul, the next game, having four turnovers, you can't do it. Chris Paul having as many turnovers in game four, five, as the entirety of the Bucks roster, five. That is an atrocious night. So bad is in perspective. Chris Paul has set the bar high. He has been bad the last three games. I'm just bringing it to light. Wow. Well, for, no, he, I, I beg to differ. He was not <laughs> bad in game two. He had 23 and eight, and they won. And, and fairly, uh, by a nice little comfortable margin, Six too. turnovers. So how can I hate on that? Bruce Arnold, and here's the other thing. You, you get some turnovers. I mean, guess who's the all-time leader in turnovers? LeBron James. I mean, it happens. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, it don't usually happen to Chris Paul. But, but here's the thing. You talked about the decline. We got a five-game sample. You talk about revisionist history. Well, first off, five games ago, he scored 41. Hello. You knew he was going to decline from that, all right? <laughs> then he scores 32. So that's part of your argument. He declined mm, from mm, 41 mm. to 32. 32 is huge for Chris Paul. <laughs> then 23. Chris Paul is a career 18 and 9 guy. So even 23 was above his career average. Mm, mm. He's had seasons, he averaged 16 points a game and still, this year, 16 and 8, and he was balling. So you can't just look at his points and say, oh, he's declining, he's struggling. Look, Chris Paul <laughs> is two games away, y'all, from major boost for his legacy. 
All right, he he's been through a, a, a stinger, a bad shoulder. He's been through COVID protocol. He is not about to let himself be the reason they lose this series when he's this close to a championship. And Chris, I trust. And then Chris, I trust, as in Broussard and Paul, because boy, you nailed that right there. I tell <laughs> since and since you want to talk about revisionist history, okay, I won't go all the way back to your Lakers series. I won't even go all the way back to the Denver series. But since then, oh, <laughs> CP3 has averaged 24 points a game and eight assists, shooting 50 from the field, a guard, and 44 from three. And you talking about you don't trust that? That is enough of a resume and sample size to say, even with the 10-point blip, even with the five turnovers or six turnovers, he will return to norm, law of averages. And it's a new norm. And it's a higher norm than his average. Because as Chris Broussard pointed out, a 18 and nine guy is out there giving you 24 and eight. Oh, Chris Paul is going to mm. go back to Phoenix and do what he does in Phoenix. Win.